Hello guys, hope you all are doing great. So today's video is three very very useful recruitment opportunities. So if you are somebody who is looking for a job opportunity in 2023, then you should definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Why? Because I post job opportunities directly from the company site. Uh, generally, I don't post any job site links. So you can directly uh, trust the link. You can trust. First thing is you can trust that this is official company site and you can directly apply. So uh, please watch the video because in the video, I'll be telling you what is the requirement. So it will be hardly five or six minutes. Then you can directly go to the application link. Application form will be there. Fill up the form and that's all. One more thing is that I have started posting content on our Instagram page and I am doing a lot of resume uh, reviews in our Instagram handle. If you want a resume review, please go check out that link also in the description. So we are going to see three very useful recruitment opportunities from Walmart, Capgemini and IBM. So there is coding opportunity, there is non-coding opportunity and all of these are applicable for entry level candidates. So please see the video till the end. Okay, the first recruitment we are going to see is from Walmart. So nowadays you can see a lot of opportunities is coming from Walmart. So Walmart is hiring for analyst global business services. So this is a uh, analyst post. It is not a coding job. It is a non coding job. And the title is procurement specialist. Now this is a full time opportunity and Gurgaon is the location. So let us see what is the requirement what they are looking into candidates. They are looking for bachelor degree in any discipline. Bachelor degree in any discipline is eligible for this. If you uh, open the notification, the first thing you uh, see in the requirement is bachelor degree in any discipline with zero to two year of experience in procurement to pay operations. Procurement pay means it is something related with uh, money transactions and all. Okay, so if you should be having zero to two year of experience in that exposure to SAP, uh, Copua, uh, Arbia, this uh, these are some technologies. It will be ideal means they are not asking it is mandatory some technologies they are asking obviously for every post they'll be asking for some technologies but the very good thing is that they are not uh, asking for any year of experience just zero to two year of experience uh, is applicable means freshers are very much eligible for this and also some very important things you need to have is you should be having good communication skill uh, you should be having a team player and you can do attitude means you, uh, sometimes it won't be something uh, familiar to you, but you can do means I can learn. I can do this. That kind of an attitude is very, very required in all the freshers. Okay. If you are a fresher means everything will be new. If you, uh, everything will be non familiar to you, but you need to study. You should need to, you need to have an attitude that I am capable for this. Customer focus and adaptability to change is also required. Okay. So that is the all requirement which they have given in the description. Apart from this, there is nothing you should know. So everything we have seen. So directly you can apply. So this is a procurement to pay related operations. Now let us go on to the next oppor uh, opportunity that is from Capgemini. Capgemini is one of my very uh, favorite company because I have worked in Capgemini for like one and some months, one year and some months. Okay. So they are hiring for a uh, Bangalore location. And they have given, this is like a SAP SFEC capacity SO4. Uh, they have directly given the person who is hiring, that title they have given. Now, what is the job here? Just scroll down and you will see employee central payroll, payroll related transactions you will be doing. But this is also they have given that developer kind of job. Okay, so developer, software engineer, you need to have uh, and less than three year of experience you should be having in the payroll okay that is the main need so uh, if you are an entry level candidate you can apply why because they have given in the experience le experience level what experience you need to have they have given that it is for entry level candidates graduates all entry level candidates can apply who is having less than three year of experience in payroll related operations okay so that is the second opportunity which is from capgemini the third one uh, the most uh, exciting one I want to share is IBM is hiring for associate system engineer that too for multiple locations. So this is kind of an off campus hiring from IBM. They are hiring for associate system engineer it is purely a coding job. The first one was purely non coding. Second one is kind of a coding non coding both operations you have to do. Uh, then the third one is purely a coding one. So if you are only looking for a coding job, say I just want to do coding means directly apply for this. 
if you are uh, interested in this and if you have the required qualifications one more thing this is not just for one location this is for multiple locations okay now uh, let us see what is the requirement here and i will uh, also share which are the locations available mumbai is there new delhi is there pune is there chennai is there hyderabad is there so there is actually one two three four five locations five locations is there okay so this is not for one person or two person this is for multiple people they are hiring so these kind of opportunities is very very uh, useful or i must say this is something which you should look for because if if there is only one opening means chances of getting selected is very less but if there is more opening means chances is obviously more okay so let us see what is the other uh, needs or what is the other uh, requirements programming preferably in java python node js software development life cycle concept so nowadays all the it companies whoever is asking for uh, software engineer or whoever is conducting software uh, engineering uh, related recruitments everybody is asking for java so java is actually a must study skill or you know must study programming language if you are looking for a coding job java is very very useful i must say java python is also very very useful you can study either java or python not uh, no need to study everything you can select java is like goes in every company so if you are interested in coding job study java this is my opinion because i have read like uh, i don't know thousand above notifications anyhow and in all those notifications whichever company is hiring for developers they will definitely ask for java whatever language uh, if they are not asking for other languages but definitely they will ask for java okay so java studying uh, or if you study java it's not a waste it's definitely useful python node js and also software development life cycle that, that is what all things is happening in software development what all things is happening you write the code you test the code you debug the code and you run the code and there is several stages of designing of a particular software or an application this designing stages is there you should be familiar with all those okay and professional uh, professional expertise or preferred technical knowledge is problem solving skill and communication skill is only required so please read out the notifications first then if you think that you are eligible try to apply for it so these are the three recruitment opportunities that we are seeing in today's video i am definitely thinking that it will be useful for you i am trying to bring a maximum useful uh, useful content through this channel also one thing we have restarted the electronics competitive exam preparations through the channel uh, yeah uh, and uh, you may be knowing that i started to work here because all these years i was not working and i was very very um, uh, update with the videos but now i started working so there is kind of a time management issue but i am trying to bring back the quality of the content and everything back to the same uh, same state so please give your suggestions what you want what you want to see what things you are not liking what things you are liking please comment in uh, the comment section okay that's all for today's video i'm really hoping that you found the content useful please subscribe to the channel support the channel watch the videos share the videos with your friends thanks for watching keep on watching